You might have already heard about R packages. In this video, I want to explain what those packages are, how you can download them, and how you can how you can use them for your specific work. Um, at first, I think uh, the package structure of R is a really really positive thing because it allows R to adapt to new technologies. Because as soon as, as there is something new going on on the internet, there are nearly always people using R who want to adapt to that new technology and to actually write and create a package of functions to adapt to this new technology. And nowadays you can find over 5,000 packages which you can download um, uh, to your R program. So for nearly for nearly any application, scientific or analytical um, application, you can find uh, packages. So that makes R a really, really dynamic environment uh, to do research and analysis in. Um, the first thing I want to show you is how you can download those packages. Like nearly all the times, there are, there are several ways of how you can do this. And the first way is um, you can simply go to this um, to this packages field down here and what you would see is you would see all the packages you already downloaded to your computer. Those packages are not yet usable, they are not ready yet, but they are on your computer. So the first thing you do is you click to this install packages um, link here and then this window opens. You can then select the repository. Normally, um, I would leave it to Cron. If I would do something, for example, which is a bioinformatics work, um, I would I would choose the bioconductor repository for these purposes. And here is the path on my computer, uh, which is actually used to store the packages I am now uh, grabbing from the internet. In this example, let's say we want to download the package. ABC. There is a package ABC. Let's say I've heard about this package from a colleague in my lab or I've read about it on the internet and um, this is particularly what I need. So I would type in ABC and as I can see there is this package ABC. And now I would just click it and install it and the computer would run. But I would actually keep that for the other way I can use. I could just go to the console and there would do the exact same thing. I would just go to the console, install packages, right? so it's install.packages, then it's brackets, quotation, and then the name of the package. In this case it is it is ABC. And then I will click enter. Okay, and now the computer is going to um, to run the whole process, it is searching the internet to find the package, it is downloading it, and um, it depends on the size of the package, on how fast this whole process is um, going on. Good. So now it is it is actually downloaded in my R program, but I cannot use it yet. I need to I need to activate it. There are two ways if I can do it. The first way is I just again go to this packages window down here and I just tick the box in front of this specific um, package I'm using. So just clicking would be the first way. The other way would be to just type in here library only brackets name of the package and enter. And that would that would then load or activate the package and it would also load all the other underlying required packages so the packages which are also needed to work with that specific package because many many packages um, rely on already pre-existing packages all right so now I would um, the computer would be ready to use it and what that means it it actually would be ready to use all the functions within that package because a package can be seen as some kind of collection of different 
functions for a very specific field. Um, to actually see what is inside those packages, uh, you could again go to this packages window down here and you could click um, the package itself and by clicking on it the help section would, would open and uh, you would see uh, what kind of help there is available for that for that package and what you could do with it. All right, so now we learned about downloading, about activating, about finding help, but in some cases you actually want to get rid of the package again for, for any odd reason. There is a simple command for that. You would just uh, go to the console and click remove dot packages brackets quotations and you would state the name of the package so it's remove dot packages and package name and you will click enter and now the package is um, delisted this was martin from r-tutorials.com uh, concerning this video you can of course leave a comment below um, if you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up because that's a very important measure for us and that tells us that we are on the right track and that we are actually helping uh, people uh, to get better with R. Uh, furthermore, there are plenty of other videos about R on this channel and you are invited to also take a look on those uh, to get even deeper into R. And of course you can also take a look at the website r-tutorials.com where you can find more useful information about this program.